The geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark III GSLV -MK3, also referred to as the launch vehicle Mark III LVM3, is a three-stage medium-lift launch vehicle developed by the Indian Space Research Organisation Primarily designed to launch communication satellites into geostationary orbit, it is also identified as launch vehicle for crewed missions under the Indian Human Spaceflight Program and dedicated science missions like CHANDRAYAAN-2. The GSLV-3 has a higher payload capacity than the similarly named GSLV. After several delays and a sub-orbital test flight on the 18th of December 2014, ISRO successfully conducted the first orbital test launch of GSLV-3 on the 5th of June 2017 from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, Andhra Pradesh. In June 2018, the Union Cabinet approved 4,338 crore rupees, 630 million to build 10 GSLV MK3 rockets over a five year period. On 15 August 2018, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced in his Independence Day speech an Indian foray into human spaceflight in 2022 with the aim of sending a crewed spacecraft called Gaganyaan to low Earth orbit. The GSLV MK3 will be the launch vehicle for this mission. History Development ISRO initially planned two launcher families, the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle for Low Earth Orbit and Polar Launchers and the larger Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle for Payloads to Geostationary Transfer Orbit GTO. The vehicle was reconceptualized as a more powerful launcher as the ISRO mandate changed. This increase in size allowed the launch of heavier communication and multi-purpose satellites, future interplanetary exploration and will be human rated to launch crewed missions. Development of the GSLV-3 began in the early 2000s, with the first launch planned for 2009-2010. The unsuccessful launch of GSLV D3, due to a failure in the cryogenic upper stage, delayed the GSLV 3 development program. The GSLV 3, while sharing a name with the GSLV, it features different systems and components. S200 static fire tests The first static fire test of the S-200 solid rocket booster, ST-01, was conducted on 24 January 2010. The booster fired for 130 seconds and had nominal performance. It generated a peak thrust of about 500 metric tons 1 pounds. A second static fire test, ST-02, was conducted on 4 September 2011. The booster fired for 140 seconds and had nominal performance. A third test, ST-03, was conducted on 14 June 2015 to validate the changes from the sub-orbital test flight data. L-110 static fire tests ISRO conducted the first static test of the L110 core stage at its Liquid Propulsion Systems Center (LPSC) test facility at Mahendragiri, Tamil Nadu on the 5th of March 2010. The test was planned to last 200 seconds but was terminated at 150 seconds after a leakage in a control system was detected. A second static fire test for the full duration was conducted on 8 September 2010. C-25 stage tests The first static fire test of the C-25 cryogenic stage was conducted on 25 January 2017 at the ISRO Propulsion Complex facility at Mahendragiri, Tamil Nadu. 
The stage was tested for a duration of 50 seconds and had nominal performance, a second static fire test for the full in-flight duration of 640 seconds was completed on 17 February 2017. This test demonstrated the repeatability of the engine performance along with its sub-systems, including the thrust chamber, gas generator, turbo pumps and control components for the full duration. All of the engine parameters had nominal performance. Redesigns After the suborbital test flight of GSLV-3, modifications were made to the vehicle to improve performance. The propellant grain geometry of head end segment was changed to a 13 lobed star configuration from a 10 lobed slotted configuration, and propellant load was reduced to 205 metric tons pounds to improve performance during transonic flights. The payload fairing was modified to an ogive shape, and the S200 booster nose cones were slanted to improve aerodynamic performance. The inter-tank structure of the C-25 cryogenic stage was redesigned for density. Vehicle design The first stage consists of two S-200 solid motors, also known as large solid boosters attached to the core stage. Each booster is 3.2 meters, 10 feet wide, 25 meters, 82 feet long and carries 207 metric tons, 456,000 pounds, tons of propellant. The S200 booster uses an HTPB based propellant. It is the largest solid fuel booster after the Space Shuttle SRBs and Ariane 5 SRBs. The flex nozzles can be vectored using electro-hydraulic actuators and are used for vehicle control during the initial ascent phase. These boosters burn for 130 seconds and produce an average thrust of 3,578.2 kN and a peak thrust of 5,150 kN each. The second stage, designated L110, is a liquid fueled stage that is 21 m tall and 4 m wide and contains 110 metric tons pounds of unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine UDMH and nitrogen tetroxide N2O4. It is powered by two Vickers 2 engines, each generating 766 kN 172,000 lbf thrust, giving a total thrust of 1,532 kN 344,000 lbf. The L110 is the first Indian clustered liquid fueled engine. The Vickers engines uses regenerative cooling, providing improved weight and specific impulse compared to earlier Indian rockets. Each Vickers engine can be individually gimbaled to control vehicle pitch, yaw, and roll control. The L110 core stage ignites 114 seconds after liftoff and burns for 203 seconds. The cryogenic upper stage, designated C25, is 4 meters (13 feet) in diameter and 13.5 meters (44 feet) long, and contains 28 metric tons (62,000 pounds) of propellant LOX and LH2. It is powered by the CE20 engine, producing 200 kN 45,000 lbf of thrust. CE20 is the first cryogenic engine developed by India which uses a gas generator as compared to the staged combustion engines used in GSLV. The payload fairing has a diameter of 5 meters, 16 feet and a payload volume of 110 cubic meters, 3900 cu feet. There is a proposal to replace L110 core stage in GSLV MK3 with a Kerolox stage powered by SCE200 to increase its payload capacity to 6 metric tons pounds to GTO. Propellant load on Hydrolox upper stage will be increased to 30 tons from 25 tons. 
The first flight of the upgraded GSLV Mk3 is expected in December 2020 but not for the crewed Gaganyaan spacecraft. Topic: Notable missions. Topic: X suborbital flight test. The maiden flight of the GSLV-3 occurred on 18 December 2014. The flight lifted off from the second launch pad, at 4 o'clock Coordinated Universal Time. The test had functional boosters, a core stage and a non-functional dummy upper stage. It carried the crew module atmospheric re-entry experiment care that was tested on re-entry just over 5 minutes into the flight the rocket ejected care at an altitude of 126 kilometers 78 miles which then descended controlled by its onboard motors during the test CARE's heat shield experienced a maximum temperature of around 1000 degrees celsius 1830 degrees fahrenheit ISRO downloaded launch telemetry during the ballistic coasting phase prior to the radio blackout to avoid data loss in the event of a splashdown failure. At an altitude of around 15 km miles, the module's apex cover separated and the parachutes were deployed. CARE splashed down in the Bay of Bengal near the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and was recovered successfully. Topic D1 GSAT-19. The first orbital flight of the GSLV-3 occurred on the 5th of June 2017, lifting off from the second launch pad at 11:58 Coordinated Universal Time. The vehicle carried the GSAT-19 communication satellite, making it the heaviest Indian rocket and payload ever launched. The satellite was successfully placed into a geostationary transfer orbit GTO at 170 kilometers 110 miles. The flight also tested upgrades to the design from data acquired during the suborbital test flight see section on redesigns. Topic: <laughs> Launch history Topic: Planned launches. Topic: See also. Comparison of orbital launches families. Comparison of orbital launch systems. Gaganyaan, India's crewed orbiter. Geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle. List of Indian satellites Medium lift launch vehicle, capable of lifting between 2,000 and 20,000 kg 4, to 44, pounds of payload into low Earth orbit Polar satellite launch vehicle